The following are examples of violations and mistakes which some people commit during their prayer. Saying the initial takbir while having one's back bent and therefore not standing upright. This is what some people do when they rush into the mosque while the Imam is bowing down. They raise their hands and say takbir while their backs are bent so as not to miss the rak'ah. This is an incorrect way of initiating the prayer and could void it. You must say the takbir while standing with your back completely in the upright position. Some people do not have any tranquility during their prayer. They seem to perform it at the same speed that a crow pecks at the ground. You must not shorten your prayer in a way which would contradict or nullify the necessary submissiveness and tranquility. Failing to maintain tranquility could result in rejection of the prayer by Allah. Indeed, it would be as if such a person did not pray at all. Because the Prophet ﷺ said to a man who prayed in this manner, what means, go and pray again because you did not pray. Some people say the initial takbir while standing alone in a row. The Prophet ﷺ said what means, the prayer of one who prays alone in a row is not accepted. However, if you have a legitimate excuse such as not being able to find another person to stand with you in the row and you fear missing the prayer by waiting, then you may pray alone in the row and your prayer will be correct. Some people raise the Imam in his movements. To do so is a sin. If you say Amin before the Imam, then you will miss a great reward. <laughs> because Allah forgives the previous sins for those who say Ameen at the same time as the angels. And the angels only start to say Ameen after the Imam starts to say it. Some people do not recite correctly during their prayer. They neither move their lips nor their tongues while reciting Quran. This is not considered recitation. Rather, it is merely contemplating the verses of Quran in one's mind. Some people bow incorrectly, with their backs halfway between the upright and bowing positions. You must keep your back and head level throughout the rukuah. Some people do not prostrate on the seven parts on which one must prostrate. For example, they may have their feet off the floor while in prostration, or place one foot upon another. Some people place their arms on the floor during prostration, thereby resembling a sitting dog. The Prophet ﷺ has forbidden placing the arms on the floor in such a manner. He would raise them off the floor with his arms spread away from his body to the extent that one could see his armpits. If you are praying in congregation, however, then you should not exaggerate in rising or spreading your arms to avoid harming those praying next to you, but you must raise your elbows off the floor. Some people lean against a wall or a pillar during their prayer to the point that if the wall or pillar were to be removed, they would collapse to the floor. Such a prayer is incorrect because the person praying in such a manner is not considered to be standing. Some people do not place their nose tightly on the ground during prostration. Some people are inattentive during prayer and not aware of what is being recited. Some do not even realize what they themselves are saying while praying. Also, during prayer, their eyes and hearts wander about. This reduces their reward and contradicts submissiveness and tranquility in prayer. Dear Muslim brother and sister, there are a number of violations which people commit while praying which could nullify the prayer. Others entail sins or disliked acts prohibited by Allah. Therefore, you must be careful not to commit such violations in order to preserve the completeness of your prayer. 
We ask Allah the Almighty to grant us knowledge from what we have learned, and we ask Him to enlighten us in our religion and enable us to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet We ask Him to accept our deeds and forgive our sins and shortcomings. وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين